Freedom, give me freedom to do the things we know are right. Freedom, give me freedom, for freedom I will fight. Freedom, I will fight. Hello there, this is Derek Vic, and this is the first episode of D Business. Now, this will be a, about serious topics that are going on in today's society that I felt needed to be discussed, and I and I took into careful consideration what topics I should do, and not to just make this whole video about what I'm going to do. I'm just going to tell you that like it original of the like the beginning of the video said this is about the first topic which is going to be about the discrimination of fat people now as we all know there's discrimination among various things weight like which I'm going over height I mean really anything that is different from anyone else color anything really can be discriminated against but weight discrimination we hear about a lot less we don't really hear about a lot of courts suits going against that it's more common to see a black person going against a company saying that he got fired or he got denied because because he was black or whatever I mean it's more common to hear about that but the truth of the matter is this is becoming a lot more of an issue with me myself I'm I'm overweight but it become this is becoming more of an issue than it is because think about it a, mo, um, a lot of America is either overweight or obese I mean I bet the record shows at least 64 percent of Americans are obese more with men than women and I mean discrimination can happen from any part it can happen on the work field it can happen in life really just any part of life it can happen I mean you put a skinny 120 pound person who eats like hell when they go to a, a, a fat um, a an all-you-can-eat buffet, they get treated like stars. I mean, they don't rip, like, you'll see that they'll be treated like, uh, no big deal with them, because they're, because they're not considered big, but you take someone who is bigger than that, like, take a 300-pound dude. Now, whether or not this dude, or woman, most likely dude, is that big, is mostly because of probably an overeating problem. Now, there's also a glandular problem, which some people do have, actually, and they have a reason to be fat when it comes to that. But if you put a 300-pound man or a woman, just any, per any person that size, into a all-you-can-eat buffet, they are looked at with looks, and they're made remarks at. I mean, and with how everything is, like, we... If we all know, which I'm sure we all do, about discrimination against black people in the 60s, there was lynchings, there was discrimination in restaurants where they couldn't eat there. I mean, there was just everything. But now we move forward that. We fast forward. We go years ahead of that. And we find that we still have things going on except with different things, too. I mean, discrimination with black people in any other color is still around obviously but now I can say that maybe we are learning to accept each other more in terms of skin color but I think what is getting more is getting almost as bad minus the killings is the discrimination against fat people now I believe the term is called sizeism where height and weight is discriminated against and here's the thing the discrimination when it comes to anything is that, like, if you put a fat person in a job predicament, and they're they're obviously big, 
a job employer will feel less likely to hire them before they even know them. I mean, that is almost as bad as what it was with black people back then, where the only jobs they could get was cleaning jobs and stuff like that, and oh, no other job would have them because of um, because they thought they didn't work and they out of pure hatred. Now we still have that, but with fat people involved, and. And I think that's horrible too because we're just because someone is fat does not mean necessarily they'll be slower. I mean, I know fat people in my life who are very quick. I mean, there's some fat people that can move quicker than a hundred, um, a hundred and ninety pound common man. I mean, they. I mean, they, there's some good workers out there that are big, and they're being left out, and they're not being treated fairly like what we should be doing. I mean, and there's also that fat people also go through other remarks during their life like they get they get commonly get bullied and everything. And I mean, it's just horrible that a person can be bullied from the time they're a child and then find themselves in a workplace and still get put down. And I think it's a problem that I think needs to be solved. Now, let's just think about it. If if this continues, if the America if America keeps getting bigger, then really the jobs are gonna get even thinner because if the stare if the if it if this discrimination still keeps going around. I mean bosses are hesitant to hire fat workers because they say they can't do the job they're too big without even knowing them if they can or not. Now if they were hired and that was proven true then that's a different case study. But you can get a skinny person who doesn't want to work either or put in the extra work in. But that's the only thing with it. I mean there is so much you can do but and also not just discrimination like with also with black people, you'd also remember how they say that you can't go into these restaurants, you can't go in these places. Like no, they have signs that say no Negroes allowed or no non-colored, no, you know all that stuff. We all know about it. And now it's the same thing, just with different words with fat people. I mean, and I think it's really silly too. I mean. There's roller coasters that they say they have a weight limit. And airplanes too, they have weight limits. But here's the thing, with these growing number of fat people, you think it would be smarter. I mean, literally, it would be smarter. I mean, if I was going into business, and I know that they, we have a large, like, large person population, I think it would only be smarter to make my seats big enough and handle the capacity of, of a person, a large person. I mean, roller coasters, these people have millions and probably billions of dollars to, on their hands, and you think that they cannot make, a, make some seats bigger? They have the money. The thing is, they just don't want to use it. They don't care. They just... And it's the same thing with these doctors, too. And I think it's bad for what they women, women do. Me, I could be 30 pounds overweight, and a doctor would probably not say anything. But a woman, make her 15, to 15 pounds heavier, a doctor is all over her. Why? Because apparently the health is a thing, too. But here's the thing. I don't think that our society should be based on looks with it. I think we should stop the fat people discrimination. I think we should stop discrimination and work with this one small step because, to be fair, if this keeps up, there's going to be almost more fat people than there is black people. Then there could be of any race. Pretty soon there could be more fat people than this. It could be a really big thing, and I think we need to before it can get that bad, I think we need to learn to accept it and stop discriminating against it. I think it's a really big problem that we need to fix. I don't know how 
but we need to somehow set our standards up there, set our standards up higher, and start treating people more equally. I mean, I know it's cheesy, but treat them more equally and give them the same opportunities. If we can't do that, then we shouldn't give nobody a job. Skinny, fat, nothing. If we can't do that. And now, I really don't know what more I could say on this because, I mean, I pretty much stated it all. It's just getting really bad for the well-being of our society. I mean, we're taught to be, to love each other, really. I mean, not really love each other, but we're taught to have a respect for each other. And we're not showing it. In fact, we're probably being more hateful than we need to be. And I think, let's just think about this in a way. Fat people, like I've said before, fat people get bullied. They're more likely to be bullied. And it's, some people, they like being fat. They like being able to eat and they like being able to do it. Why should we go against them if this is their lifestyle that they are choosing? Like a skinny person who chooses to be skinny, should we be going against a skinny person? Should we prevent a skinny person from getting a job because that's their lifestyle? No, we shouldn't. I think that we should just stop. I mean, it's not really much of anything else. We, all the statistics show that all we're doing is getting worse, and we need to stop discriminating. Unemployment is high as it is, and I think if we can just open up a little and give fat people, like, more of our time then we ourselves can be better people and maybe we can have a more efficient society than what we do already and if we can get all these companies send complaints do something and make them take that money out of their pockets and making it so that things have more weight capacity on them like roller coasters, phone booths, cars, I mean really anything that has a weight limit. Let's try to fight to make this work. Let's fight to make them do it. I mean, I'm not sure what more can be said besides that because this is getting ridiculous. And anyone who's fat can sympathize with me on what I'm saying. I like I'm saying I'm overweight. And yes, it is hard, and you are always going to be stereotyped and put in that group. But I think if we try hard enough, maybe we can get something done. Can't promise anything, but we better damn try than just sit around and not do nothing at all. Now, this is going to be it for now. The next topic I'm going to have put up, the episode 2, it's going to be against... My opinion so far with Obama in office. Now, I've had everything I need to say. Just remember, guys, try to fight. Try to do something. Try to send complaints. Don't do it violently. Just do it like the way we should do it, peacefully and effectively. Well, that's all that I have to say for tonight. I hope you all have a good night's sleep. I hope you have a good life, and I hope that everything be great. See you next time. This is D-Biz, Derek the V-Extreme, saying goodbye and have a nice day. Peace. Freedom give me freedom to do the things we know are right. Freedom give me freedom, for freedom I will fight. Freedom I will fight.